Let friends in your social network know what you are reading about Dave Haxtall comes to Seattle after three full seasons as head coach of the Flyers and a stint as an assistant with the Maple Leafs. A link has been sent to your friend's email address. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. Sports Seriously. Mackenzie Salmon connected with NHL legend Mark Messier and got his thoughts on the league reaching a TV deal with ESPN. Messier believes being on the worldwide leader in sports will only help for the future growth of the game. USA Today The Seattle Kraken on Thursday announced Dave Haxtall as the first head coach in franchise history. The NHL approved a proposal to grant an expansion franchise to Seattle in 2018. In July 2020, the team revealed the Kraken as the mascot as well as branding and team colors. Luke Henman recently became the first player in franchise history when Seattle inked three-year entry-level contract with the center on May 12. Hackstall coached at the University of North Dakota for 11 seasons. He was named the Philadelphia Flyers head coach in 2015, becoming the first head coach to go directly from the NCAA to the NHL since 1982. Hackstall led the Flyers to three winning records in his first three years, but was fired after a 1-2-1-5-4 start to the 2018-19 season. Dave Hackstall coached the Flyers from 2015 to 19. Photo. Eric Hartline, USA Today Sports, in 2019, he was hired as assistant head coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Dave is confident, strong on technical aspects of playing three-zone game, said Seattle GM Ron Francis. Tracking back to University of North Dakota days, Dave is a coach who cares about his players. At times, a coach's messages can get diluted. Players want to understand what the coach wants them to do. Dave communicates clearly and concisely. Players like that. Hackstall spent much of his career, both coaching and playing, with the University of North Dakota. He played college hockey from 1989 to 1992 and played minor league hockey for five years before hanging up the skates. He spent a little over four years with the Sioux City Musketeers of the USHL before returning to his alma mater as an assistant in 2000. Copyright 2021 USA Today, a division of Gannett Satellite Information Network, LLC.